Hey guys, welcome back to CHGO Biology. Today, we are going to talk about aerobic respiration and also fermentation that happen in human muscle cell. So, are you ready? Hey guys, so let's start chapter 7, cellular respiration. So, what is a cellular respiration? So basically, cellular respiration is a, is a catabolic process releases energy okay you can see here the definition state that the energy is released from glucose through oxidation within the cell so what is oxidation oxidation is a process that uses oxygen so in this process cellular pro uh, respiration is going to use oxygen to break down the glucose so let me draw you a diagram for example, this is the cell. So this cell will take in oxygen and also glucose. Okay, why they take in the oxygen? Because they want to use the oxygen to break down the glucose to form energy, H2O, and also carbon dioxide. The main purpose of doing cellular respiration is to get the energy. So we want the energy for movement, for respiration, or for any processes that happen in our body. Now, to obtain the energy, we have two different pathways, which is the aerobic respiration and also the lactic acid fermentation. We are going to touch on these two topics today. Eh? Now, let's get started. By looking at this picture, we know that a cell requires glucose to produce energy. Am I right? So, where to get the glucose? By eating food. Let's say, for example, we eat rice. Rice consists a lot of starch inside. It will go through the digestive system and then it will be digested to form the monomer of the carbohydrate, which is the glucose. Now, what happened next? Right now, the nutrients will be absorbed into the blood capillary. So right here, we have the blood capillary and the glucose will be absorbed into the blood capillary. So once it's being absorbed into the blood capillary, our blood will transport the nutrients to our cell that require the glucose. So for example, this is the muscle cell. The glucose will be transported into the muscle cell. Once the glucose is inside the muscle cell, it will carry out a process called glycolysis. Glyco Glycolysis. What is the meaning of glycolysis? Glyco stands for glucose. Lysis stands for breakdown. So this glucose is going to break down into two molecules, which is known as the pyruvate. Alright, so this whole process is actually happening in the cytoplasm of the cell. Remember, this location is very important. Huh? It's in This glycolysis happened in the cytoplasm of the cell. And if you still remember, this glycolysis, the process is actually catalyzed by an enzyme. Okay, catalyzed by the enzyme, which the name is called hexo. Kinase. This is just for your information. Uh. You learned this in chapter 5, right? Okay, let's go back to the pyruvate. Right now, the pyruvate can choose his pathway. So it has two pathways to choose. The first pathway is the aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration. When there is sufficient of oxygen, then 
the pyruvate to choose the aerobic respiration pathway. So here we, we, we know that oxygen is required. All right, so where does the oxygen come from? The oxygen comes from our lungs. So when we breathe in the oxygen, the oxygen will diffuse into our blood capillary and then send it to our cell. So right here, there is an organelle that can take up the oxygen and also the pyruvate to carry out the cellular respiration. And this organelle name mitochondrion. Okay, remember mitochondrion it has double layer, so you need to draw the inner membrane of the mitochondrion. So now we have the mitochondrion already. So this oxygen is going into the mitochondrion and also this pyruvate will go into the mitochondrion as well. And oxidation of pyruvate happens here. So oxidation of pyruvate will produce three products. One, two, three. Total three products. The first one is CO2, carbon dioxide which we don't want and we have H2O and last one is energy and energy is what we want. So let's say there is no oxygen or limited oxygen can be found in this environment. The pyruvate will choose the second pathway which, what, which is called the fermentation. Fermentation when there is insufficient of O2 oxygen. This process will only be carried out when there is no or limited oxygen. Okay, and what is the name of this process called? The process is being called the lactic acid fermentation. Remember, in human body cell, Lactic, only lactic acid fermentation can be carried out. Okay, it's impossible for us to carry out the alcohol fermentation. So please do not write alcohol fermentation. Huh? So it will carry out the lactic acid fermentation and eventually two products will be produced. Which is one and two, which is the lactic acid as suggested by the name lactic acid fermentation and also the energy. Okay, now look at this. Lactic acid fermentation will produce energy. Oxidation of pyruvate will also produce energy. But the problem is, the energy produced by the lactic acid is much more lesser compared to the oxidation of pyruvate. So, the pyruvate will prefer the first pathway rather than the second pathway. So there is oxygen, confirm pyruvate will go for the oxidation of pyruvate, this pathway. All right, so there's one more thing. You need to know the location of these two process occur. So in the cell, we only have two locations. The first one is the cytoplasm and the second one will be the mitochondrion. So always, always remember that Lactic acid only can be carried out in the cytoplasm of the cell. And aerobic respiration, the oxidation of pyruvate happened in the mitochondrion, but the glycolysis happened in the cytoplasm. Let's look at these two questions. Now, question one, where in the cell does glycolysis take place? Glycolysis. The breaking down of glucose always happen in the cytoplasm. So the answer is B, cytoplasm. Okay, so let's look at question two. So basically, question two is talking about cellular respiration. And cellular respiration is a process when a cell takes in oxygen and also the glucose produced 
CO2, energy, and lastly, water. So this process is called cellular respiration. Let's look at the option one by one. Huh? Oxygen is inhaled, carbon dioxide is exhaled. So you can see the words here, we use inhale and exhale. This one refer to breathing. You breathe in and breathe out. So it's not cellular respiration. So cellular respiration is totally different compared to breathe in and breathe out. So this is not the answer. Carbon dioxide is inhaled and oxygen is exhaled. Uh, again, this is the breathing and we should breathe in the oxygen, breathe out the carbon dioxide. So this one is wrong also. C. Sugar are oxidized to release chemical energy. So the sugar here refer to glucose. Glucose is oxidized. It means we use oxygen to oxidize, to break down the glucose, to release the energy. So this is the correct answer. Now try to look at option D. Sugar is produced from carbon dioxide and water in the presence of light and chloroplast. So this one definitely is a process for photosynthesis. You produce the sugar. We don't want to produce sugar in cellular respiration. We want to break down the sugar. All right. So I hope this video helping and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.